Welcome to Nigeria, where our silence is their strength, our voices is their weakness. You people must hear us because we're here on our when campaign reach. So please hear us this time. Thank you. I can't identify myself. My ID card got missing in transit as they were dragging me. They I have all that. They took my phones and my ID card, my driver's license, everything that identifies me as a journalist has been taken. The all local women called for a protest by sending palm fronts to women in the neighboring towns and villages. Today we are rising up and we are telling the whole world that enough is enough. We are demanding for accountability, for good governance and for protection of our lives. In the constitution, the welfare and security of Nigerians is the primary duty of the government. Here are some of the previous clips of the protests in the Nigerian territory. From the first one about Umea Riot up to the recent one and SARS of 2020. These people have no business to be our leaders. They have no business being our political rulers if they can't protect our lives because every other right derives from the right of life, right to life. If we do not have the right to life, no other rights can endure to us. We cannot enjoy any other thing as human beings. So we are rising up today, we are demanding our sweet right strength. Right that we're entitled to our lives. We stand against police brutality. And we're saying today, an end must come to irresponsibility in governance. After this demand, we shall continue to make specific demands until Nigeria becomes a nation of our dream. Thank you very much. The country of my dream, Nigeria, is a mere geographical entity with a diverse culture and tradition, with over 500 tribes and two major dominant religion, Christian and Islam. Our silence is your strength and our voice is your weakness. Now in Nigeria, we only have right to protest because it's the only language the government can understand. Our tongue can no longer exercise its power because we are not given the choosing one. Our lives now are worthless. Ambush, kidnappers, and many more. The first protest that took place in Nigeria is the Abba Women Riot in 1929, where the women protest against the high increase in taxation. They protest to the colonial government of then British administration. Between November and December 1929, the agitation started growing between 1914 and 1919 when Frederick Lugat introduced a system of indirect rule in which the British administrators governed through mail warrant chiefs. By 1928, direct taxation on men was introduced by the British government. A protest was triggered by a fight between a woman named Wanyarowa Oleka Obo and Mark Emerowa, who was carrying out the census of the people in Oloko town, Bende district, Oweri province. Government forces were deployed to counter the protest, which led to the death of over 50 unarmed women. Many others were wounded. The uprising prompted the colonial authorities to drop their plans to impose more taxes and to abolish the Warren chief system. Coming down to the recent time, the end of 2020. It began in the year 2017 as a Twitter campaign using the hashtag end SARS to document and condemn the excesses of SARS operatives. In October 2020, a viral video showing alleged police brutality by SARS officers sparked widespread outrage. Growing public anger over years of police harassment, extortion, and extrajudicial killings fueled the movement. 
Yes, it's thief. I know what thief wants. Stars wants to kill me. I don't care now. I stop killing now. It is over a year now since President Bola Amatunibu came into power. The economy of the country is in bad situation. Now people are out there protesting because of hunger and bad governance. said to anybody that cares to listen to me I don't believe in the protest in this in the format that we had answers in terms of destruction of violence but I believe that Nigerians have legitimate right to hear their views I actually believe that we should protest every day by doing the right things good governance good roads affordable electricity, development and process, uh, progress. If the cit citizens uh, are feeling disenfranchised on whatever matter, they have a reason to state their opinion or, you know, to cry out to the leaders to adjust on their policies, tell the leaders where they feel they're getting it wrong. And of course, with decorum, peacefully express their mind on the reality on ground. I see nothing wrong about that, provided it is peaceful. What I think about it, it should be done because things are getting too much, as in things is too expensive now, especially when we are talking about food. Things are too hard. You can see the way, the way things is going is too really hard. They should just do something about it. The, please talk to the government. We are suffering. We are suffering. The fact that they are waking up to see money every day, other people are not waking up to see anything. Eh? We want to cook it last like, second now. We have to go and be borrowing money, one five, two thousand era, before we can eat. Eh? I, don't know any, I don't know how to explain this suffering. I don't know another English I can use that the government can understand we are dying. We are dying. Hunger is, is dead. Is de we are dying day by day. Look at my age now. Look if, at, at this age, going to an hospital to check for my BP. At my age, my BP is, already, is beyond what, I'm, what a, a normal lady should have. Please, please. I don't see anything we will gain in destroying our things for an honor we are proud.